Letters from God and His Christ, Volume 5 The heavens and the earth shall pass away, recreated anew. The law stands forever, unchanged and unchangeable. Neither has God blessed any other day. The seventh has He blessed. Keep it holy. March 29, 2006 From God the Father A letter given to Timothy For all those who have ears to hear. Thus says the Lord your God, You shall not desecrate my Sabbaths, nor the seventh day of the week, which I have commanded you to remember. Thus says the Lord, As I had spoken it to Moses, so shall it be done. As I had spoken it before the congregation, so shall it be done. Yea, with the blowing of the great trumpet, with lightnings and thunderings, had I spoken it upon Mount Sinai in the presence of the tribes of Israel, and before the holy angels, did I trumpet my law. The Lord your God had written it with his own hand. Yea, by my own finger was it engraven and given to my people. Behold I, even I, have written it upon the hearts of the penitent, by the power of my own spirit. For the Son of Man came to redeem you from your sins, from your transgression, of that burned into the stone of the everlasting covenant, by which man shall live, of which none have kept, by which they shall surely die. Lo, a new covenant have I sent to you in Christ Jesus, to save you from the penalty of that which you have forsaken. Has then your Christ died, whereby the law has also died? Not so! Shall you crucify your Savior again and again, putting him to an open shame? No! You shall live because of him, and by that which he upholds and has magnified in himself, being the only one who is without sin, having kept every tittle of the law. For it is written, as the Lord Christ had spoken it, it is easier for heaven and earth to pass away than for one tittle of the law to fail. For the spirit of the law is shown in his vesture, he being the same one who taught you the law anew by his example and by his every word and deed. For the law is fulfilled in Christ, the Messiah. Indeed, he is the goal at which the Torah aims. He is the Lord of the law also being the Lord of the Sabbath. So then, if he is the Lord of the Sabbath, having obeyed every command of the Father, why do you not follow him? You say you follow him and honor me. Verily I say unto you, you shall all be found liars in the day of reckoning. For every word spoken by God and his Son stands forever without any variableness or shadow of turning. O church of adulteries, how we mourn for you! You have been judged, and shall be left utterly desolate in the day of the Lord's wrath. You say you speak for me, and have Christ's authority. You have trampled upon the grave of the resurrected one, making his sacrifice of non-effect. Woe to those who blaspheme the Spirit! Your whoredoms are piled to heaven. Every law you have broken. Even to this day do you embrace all the sins I hate. In all you do do you crucify the Son of Salvation again and again. Denying his name by all your deeds you call mighty and true. O oh, unholy! Church of men, mother of all fornications and lies, your destruction comes nigh. You have become Egypt. Let my people go. Stop desecrating my Sabbaths. Cease from your heresies. Hold your tongue from your blasphemies. And repent, and I may yet have mercy upon you. Saturday is the seventh day and the Shabbat, which I have ordained from the beginning. 
the Holy One comes quickly and will take from you his own. He shall snatch them from your very breast. No more shall my children receive nourishment from you. No more shall they sit in your deceptions. The light is taken from you. You are left alone, estranged by your false doctrines. Your fate lies with him who is coming, who shall lead many into perdition and death. You shall bear him a son, a man who bears the number of his name, his prophet. You will not be alone when desolations come. You and your enemy, Ishmael, shall be destroyed, along with the father who bore you both, the father of lies. And so shall it be done. Even so. Amen. The mighty and strong one shall return, and great recompense shall fall hard upon the nations. Behold, he shall come in all his glory, and judgment shall sit. Yet anyone who calls on the name of the Lord in that day shall be saved.